So can you just talk about Lindsay and her season up to this point? Yeah, Lindsay's been, uh, she's been playing varsity for four years. Um, she's our setter uh, in volleyball. The setter's the most important person. They lead the team. They, they run the court. Um, and they got to be vocal and in it at all times. And she does a really good job of that. Of that. Um, constantly telling girls where to be, um, to do things different, running the offense, calling the plays all over. Um, she's always hustling after balls, just a good role model. Not to mention she's a great setter. Um, constantly she's putting up 30, 20, 30 assists a game. Um, so she does a very good job for us. Coach, you just move on to your team. Uh, even if you just want to talk about the last game, you guys upset the uh, top team. So we'll yeah. talk about your team. Yeah, that was awesome. We uh, First game we came out kind of, we came out okay, played all right, beat them by five points. Mm -hmm. And then the second and third game, our service team broke apart. And it was sort of like, ah, come on, girls. You know, like we know how to serve. We know how to serve receive. We can pass balls. And it just was not there. Um, so... They end up digging themselves out of the hole the fourth game, came back and crushed them and took it to them. Mm -hmm. um, and same thing with the fifth game. They, they able to, were able to persevere, and, um, and they did a really nice job. Finally, coaches, what was that feeling like? You guys upset upset top team? You yeah, it was, back? it was awesome. Yeah. It was stressful. Like I was, I was sitting there on the bench, pacing up and down. My heart's beating. I'm trying to remain calm and just, <laughs> hey, we can do this. We know how to play volleyball. We're a good team. Our fundamentals are pretty sound. Um, and, you know, the second and third game, it's like, oh, and then we start coming back, and it's like, all right, just keep with it, keep yeah. with it, don't lose it. I'm trying not to, like, give off too emotion because I don't want to rub yeah. off on them one way or the other, sure. but sure. they did really well, and they, they persevered, like I said, and it was exciting. What were your feelings after that one? Uh, you guys were the A seed, correct? Yeah. And you guys hit down the uh, number one seed in Penn Yen. Um, how, do you, how did you guys feel after that final point? After that final point, we were just so excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like the biggest game I've ever played in, mm -hmm. and just really happy. Mm -hmm. And in that um, match, you guys went up uh, the first set 25-20, then you went down 13-25, you went down and a close one 23-25. What were you feeling at that point? You guys had them, you lost them. Yeah. How do you feel there? Yeah, I was feeling that we could come back. I mean, we're a good team, so I thought we could fight back. They mm -hmm. weren't as good as I thought they were going to be, so mm -hmm. I figured we had a chance. This is, that, is our time, so. Is that sort of what you said to your to your teammates, too, that you thought that you were yeah. hanging with them despite, despite the scores? Yeah, I was like, come on, we got it, girls. We want it more, <laughs> and so we just went out and fought. Perfect. And now uh, you're a setter for your team, and you're doing very well. You had 38 assists that, that match alone. So in your opinion, uh, what does it take to be a good setter? Uh -huh. I don't know. I mean, I've been setting for years, so I'm just kind of used to like the pressure and everything. But I think good communication, knowing where everyone is on the court, mm -hmm. you really need to know running plays. Really mm -hmm. need to communicate and talk. Mm -hmm. and Do you have maybe a uh, go-to teammate when you're when you're going for a, on a big point? Yeah, I usually go to my outside hitters, Macy mm -hmm. Cook and Gracie Zanderwitz.